Welcome to my live stream, or like my first YouTube only, I mean YouTube, uh, Facebook live stream. Yeah, Joe Williams is in the house. Welcome, uh, Joe. How many hours ago did I make this group? And there's already about 2,000 of you guys that have joined me. This is pretty good. Look, guys, uh, today, I was starting to tell you guys, today I saw one of the comments and I thought, hey, I got to answer this question. Uh, Chevy 56 SD asked, and this is kind of like kind of old. I didn't answer too quickly. Hey, Joe, can you address why all the 18650 bills have cell fuse links, whereas the old Samba LiPo 4 batteries and other Cal type cells have bus bars between cells? Are we not concerned about individual cell shorts? Is it because each cell vents? Uh, built in therefore is not a concern in the parallel pack over 18650 design uh, That's essentially the question. So basically saying why are we going through such extent to put a cell on every single battery cell on our 18650 packs when No one else is doing that right or with the other battery packs. We, we've never done that What would you guys say is the reason for that? The cell level fuses are these guys, right? These are the ones that I made. Um, this is just a, a brass bar and then the, here, these are uh, legs from resistors and then I used, uh, a, uh, not a, well, I, we've been soldering a lot of them, right? But I just, this is the first time that I tried doing a, uh, a spot welder and, the, and just a regular, you know, $200 spot welder that you can buy on Alibaba or you can buy on eBay or on Amazon and stuff. So that's what we're doing. Every single cell has that little wire and it's good for like six amps, six, five amps, something like that. So he's asking, why are we doing them like that where everyone else in the older batteries, they weren't doing that. And in, including this ones, look at these. These are not fused. So these have a pretty thick thing there that is connected to every cell. How do they, why are we doing that when these guys can get away without doing it? What is the whole thought behind that? You know, if, if this, if something happens to this and one of these packs goes bad, which, which by the way, they're, it's very, very unlikely. These actually are pretty good. For the level of, of liability that can happen is not that much, right? Like maybe your drill will, you know, melt. Maybe you throw it outside and you're like, what's going on with my battery is bad, right? In the likely event that something happened. But if we're putting these batteries in like a wall like this, for example, it's a giant wall and it's tied to your house and you know, you screwed it onto the wall and stuff. If a battery ever goes wrong, then you, you wanna be as safe as possible, right? And so one way to do that is to use those cell level fuses. And that the reason we know that is because Tesla is using those on their cars. And so we know, they know that they did a bunch of research and they figure out that that's uh, a good way to build battery packs, right? And so that's why we're using them because, I mean, if Tesla's doing them, you know, we're piggybacking on that R&D. And so, you know, we're, we're just kind of learning. We don't have to do them like that. You could, you could do them like everyone else. You could just use the, the, uh, the way that, you know, the power packs over the power battery packs have been built, like sort of like half of the packs that I, actually, none of those packs have that. <laughs> These have BMS, but they're just nickel, uh, you know, welded. The other ones have these other modules, which are actually also not. Th there's no fuses in here. It's just uh, they're spot welded. And so if one of these cells ever goes bad, then yeah, either the, all the other ones are going to dump their energy into it and just kind of kill it. And that's just, just, just what might happen. So that's the reason. It's just, we're just being ex super careful with our batteries, right? Uh, if one of them dies, we're also using recycled batteries. A lot of us, right? This is a DIY power wall. It started by recycling batteries, by taking that laptop batteries, and then you are supposed to open them and stuff. And then that's where you, you, you test all the cells. I have a bunch of those videos. If you guys haven't seen them, you got to see them. Uh, today it's a little bit different with Tom and uh, some of the other guys that are selling batteries. We're getting better and better batteries every day. Like these ones, for example, this is a uh, medical battery. These are all 2,900 milliamp hours. 
uh, free, like 95% capacity still left in these guys. Um, yeah, out of a, a thing. So then these are all used at the same time. There, there's likelihood that you can get like a whole batch of these and they're like in pretty similar conditions. So it's not super imperative that you do that, but you want to do it because why wouldn't you do it? Because, you know, you gotta, you want to keep your batteries and build them the safest way you can. You know, wherever. And yeah. From, from that. You know so that's, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to pick blindly this guy. Okay. Benjamin Haslett joined 15 hours ago. Here's the present on the stream? No, I, I, I don't oh, okay. think. Yeah, because I mean, it's 2000 name. I mean, I guess it's kind of uh, unfair, I guess, for the guys that are here. That are hanging but, out? Yeah, the guys that are hanging out. Is Benjamin Haslett with us in our stream? That thing is a still now. <laughs> it's a still. All right, guys, don't use his account number. Don't use my account number <laughs> to do a thing. Come We're on. We're going to trust you guys oh, to Jesus. not grab the account number and use it for anything. Just move the... Like, here's, yeah. here's our house at midnight and was using... Uh, what is that? Uh, 540 watt. Why watts per hour, right? So five, yeah. Uh, another half kilowatt. Wow, that's a night. What's why is it using five hundred watts? What hours? <laughs> Your air. That's usually what's on. So yeah, basically, if we have a fan on, it so it's the probably the 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 refrigerator. Uh, the, a fan maybe maybe some light that stayed on, uh, and then. These, this computer here stays on, that computer sometimes stays Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this actually pulls from the thing now. I used to have it on batteries, but now it's pulling from there. So uh, I guess that's usually that's how much my house pulls, right? About 500 watts. And then around 7, we get up. Some some of us get up. I don't get up that early. Uh, that's... So Fernando said, watching Jay who struggle with technology is the ultimate cringe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, 7 a.m., someone gets up. I don't know who gets up. So, 1.59 kilowatt. Wow. It's like three times more. Three what, times more. What is one person getting up doing? That's... Well, no, it's not. It's Crystal. Crystal gets up. No, Crystal gets up earlier. Than... No, it has to be her. Because she turns on the lights. She maybe... What does she do? Yeah, she turns well, on the coffee is, how maker. How much one point? Six kilowatt. Like, well, it's not. It's like a vacuum is fifteen hundred watts. A, a single. So a couple lights are doing that. Well, no, because we have like super low. What does she do to get rid? Like, so I think it's probably the hair dryer. The, maybe hair dryer will pull something like that. Nine hundred watts or a thousand watts. Uh, a microwave. Microwave would totally pull about fifteen hundred watts. Uh, not ours. Ours is tiny. So I, I think it's probably the coffee maker. So that one has heaters that heats up the water. So maybe that's probably about some of that, right? Not shower. No, no I mean no, because it doesn't. That's not a, like a gas. gas yeah. Heated the water. Yeah. So we use uh, gas heaters, uh, boilers or whatever to heat the water. So yeah, it's just basically just activity. Like she turns off things on here, the extra lights, the coffee maker, the thing, you know. Uh, Kevin says uh, phantom loads like computer wall. Ports, monitors, yeah, that are still plugged in, microwave oven uh, with clocks, TV set, yeah, boxes, all that stuff, all that stuff, yes, yeah, so all, all that, that nonsense. The TVs have all like power transformers that stay on. I have Shower. a couple things here that you know, this battery starts charging. What else? Do I have? Oh, my inverter, my UPS inverter, right here, it's also using, okay, anyways. Uh, tapers down, see? Because she gets up, does all that activity, and then she leaves. And then my parents stay up. My parents use less energy than she does. Look, 1.3 by 9 a.m. It's about 1.3 kilowatt, right? Uh, what time is that? Uh, 9. Oh, I see. It's oh, also, around 9 o'clock, already the solar panels are working. So the sun's already out. They're already producing a little bit of energy. And so that's why we see that decrease there. Wow. Right? Even though maybe there's more activity in the house. Toaster. It's still, yeah, toaster, totally. 
Uh, and by 10 o'clock, the pounds are really starting to go. Like they're, they're going, right? So then half a kilowatt, right? Uh, and that's when you're starting to head into in, peak hour. Into peak hour. And then right before peak hour at 11 o'clock, look at that, it's zero. So essentially, so all solar of the panels. load is being used now from the from your panels. From the panels that have been no from, from the panels. Oh, from the solar panels. panels. Not yeah. even from the panels. No, I don't. I don't have a battery right now being used like that. The battery is oh, being used yeah. here, but not for the entire. So just home. what you generate, you, you're using. As, yeah, it's, as is being generated is being used into the house. Oh, okay. Right, and at at 10 o'clock, 11 p. Uh, 11 a.m. It's probably probably a little bit more than what the house is using. So the pounds are producing more. So, so whatever the difference is, it's uh, whatever extra there, it's just going to waste essentially, because I'm not, I don't have a net metering, right? And then at noon, when the high prices hit, then uh, is the same thing. But then it turns out like at one, then uh, for some reason, uh, come on, how come it doesn't show me? Anyways, it's like very little, right? If this is point it's six, it's starting to get hot and the air kicks in. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I think yeah, something like that. So it, maybe the sun is also not as strong. It turns out maybe at noon it's the strongest, on the where I have my panels. Uh, yeah. I remember my panels are facing the wrong direction. So you start heading in the other way. Yeah. So then it, maybe they create a tiny bit more, or maybe there's a little bit more consumption. Yeah. So my dad turns on the weed whacker or I don't know, something. You know what I mean? Like. Um, Oh, that's maybe that's when I get up. That's when Jay gets up <laughs> at noon. Dreaming. Then I start streaming. The... I start using my computer. Turn on this other TV, the other computer. That's probably me right there. But look at that, one hundred twenty watts, right? Yeah. And I'm paying full price. And then around two, I guess I take a break, probably eat some lunch or something, <laughs> and then like nothing. <laughs> Then the power can rest for a bit. Look at that. Nothing there. And then, uh, what's the other one over here? So then around 3 p.m., I guess the sun is going down. Consumption still probably ramping up or staying the same. Uh, one kilowatt. And so I'm paying full price for that. That's 49 cents right there that has cost me for that. Damn. Then uh, uh, 4 p.m., uh, one and a half <laughs> kilowatts is going up. Yeah, that, three, that, that 4 o'clock hour is killing me. <laughs> that, it's killing me, 49 cents. And then 1.95 kilowatt. And then and then we jump into uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m., then we're still using about 1.28, but then that's you know goes back to regular uh, off-peak. Off uh, and then uh, for some reason from 7, that's, I guess... That's, uh, that's stream time, man. That's... Uh... Well, yeah, we're not using that much. It's like... Is this an Over average? Lights? Yeah, this is an average. Over what? Like, or no, this is no, down. this is May 16. This is that yesterday. Is that day. Oh, it was yesterday. What were you doing yesterday? At Same seven. Thing as today. Were you streaming at seven yesterday? Well, no, I think I started later. A little bit later yesterday, I think. Oh no, no, no! I actually did. I start. No, I started around eight. Because Crystal took off. So that streaming doesn't affect it. No, man, come on, streaming doesn't do anything. So at 10 p.m. is when she came home and started. At 10 p.m. she came home and I, she plugged the car in, and look at that, the car is pulling. Uh, so the car is pulling 3.3 kilowatt. That's that's the rate it charges, and then uh, the other one and a half, or no, the other one kilowatt is just a house. Um, it, is that like what in two hours it's charged or yeah so you think about 3.3 plus 3.3 that's two hours right there that is oh actually no because this is a different date so so maybe it went down it tapered down or something but we don't we can't see that right, right. but but the day before in. she didn't charge it because maybe we could we would see it at, at midnight right but then it's not there so can we see hourly by different dates sure. Okay, so she plugged it in earlier. The car was plugged in earlier, uh, and then it tapered down. Yeah, so she she actually doesn't charge. Oh, your account showed up for a second. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that. It's the same thing, though. From yeah. 12 to 6, it's, you know, a couple of kilowatt hours. And that's where you want to be. So in order to just make it zero all the way across, like to take those extra kilowatt hours right there, uh, 4 and, and 5, you just put a little battery in between your solar panels and your thing and you know and hopefully you add an extra panel so that it's uh 
creating more energy than than the little grid tie inverter is pushing, and then and then that way you know Wait, the battery stays so charged that, a little bit. So this day that you're showing now is that does does that mean that she is charging earlier, like eight? Yeah. So, so she came home earlier and then she plugged so it. So she in. started trying. Look, so it's tapering off already. It, it taped off, yeah, quite quite fast because it's it wasn't. Yeah, it is like two and a half hours, two three three hours. Yeah, I mean that car. Yeah, you know, that car has a small battery. It's uh, actually, I, so pro she probably doesn't use all the battery. Mm, all right. So what happens of is that she's only she's using. The car. Yeah. Oh, I should be like barely making it home. <laughs> no, I mean it's it's. It, that car is a hybrid, oh, right. so it just keeps going. So you don't actually need to 100% deplete the battery. Even if you 100% deplete the battery, which she did uh, some other days over here. I'm sure if we looked at the later, May, April to May. Um, okay, so here's probably when I charge my bus. <laughs> 62 kilowatt hours on April 13, right? And then that was probably a Friday, and then this is what? Uh, yeah, this is Saturday and Sunday, right? The blue ones, I think, are weekend, holiday. Uh, and so those are charged are different things. So look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm averaging 25.2 kilowatt hours per day. Total usage, 731 kilowatt hours. Bill cost, it's 103. So the 103 is for that month. Wow, that's how much I'm paying. Wow, so you charge your bus once? Well, no, there's like, here's another one on the weekend. So on the weekend, I have 52 kilowatt hours. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, probably she did full charge over here. Plus, we use a lot of electricity for those days. So yeah. weekend, what, is the weekend more expensive or no? No, it's it's, uh, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's off, off, off peak. So you only have to really watch out. Week. Well, uh, at weekdays. least on our billing. And then the peak hour went weekdays. Yeah, weekdays during the day. Yeah. Weekends are fine. Uh, holidays are fine. Mm, okay. It's just it's just those six hours during the day. That's those are the ones that kill you. It's like it's like sixty seventy percent of your bill are those six hours mm -hmm. for those five days during the week. So if you can just so essentially what I'm using my system is to peak shave, peak shaving. Right, and you don't need a huge battery for that. You just need enough battery to supplement your solar panels, right? When the sun is going down in the later hours of the day, then you just need the batteries to take over and produce enough so that you can still net uh, zero. That is the... Okay, well, that's cool. That's the plan there, anyways.